pictures, Brother Jonathan. All right, I got it recorded. Okay, cool. Okay, what I've done is I put um, Yul Bell, actually in Yul Bell, in here. And this is coming up in the Peshitta between Luke chapter 4, verse 17, and Luke chapter 4, verse 21. So we got a four-verse span here. And I add a ELS, a positive 24, we're finding the word in Yobel, which matches the scripture about Isaiah 61, about Yeshua setting the captives free. When he read that in the synagogue, he was actually pronouncing a jubilee. So this is the information that we're getting is actually coming out as a big positive. When I put it in the codes in the Peshitta, this would be the Peshitta, the uh, Aramaic. Uh, and then I have all of this in here as well. And I just put in this word here that Sister Darla had put in. I will restore. It's actually in there. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah, I found that too. It does come up in my, in my search area. But as you can see, we have in your bell here. Um, this word that you asked me to put in, Brother Jonathan, Yom. Yom Shell. Yom Shell. What's that? In the day of. In the day of. Yeah, the day of. In the day of. You could have that Lamed in there as a prefix, and it would be um, unto the day of. Unto the day of. It could still be in the day of, right? Alamed. Unto, unto a day of, the day of. Okay. This here uh, is when he opened the book, Yeshua. This is, oh, he opened Yeshua, the book. And then down here is the acceptable year, and to proclaim the acceptable year of Yeshua. Or Yeshua. Yeshua. What? Actually, the, the, the Memoresh Yod is a reference to Daniel. I don't see what you're saying. Uh, Daniel 4.19 and 4.24. Um, but if you take the Yod out and replace it with the Aleph, the Memoresh Aleph or Yod Aleph doesn't come up in the Strongs, but this does. It has something to do with symbolically Naomi. I don't know what that's about in Ruth. Um, it could be pointing towards something that has to do with the Jubilee, but that's where they get year of the Lord in there. Um, but that's interesting. You have that phrase right here, right below where it says, in your bell, bet yod, wa bet lamet. Here, um, Aleph Rosh Yod Aleph. Yod. Oh, sorry, Yod, Yod Rosh Aleph and Kuf Nun Aleph. These two words, Sister Darla wanted me to put in. Uh, could you tell us what those words are, please? Yeah. So um, the Kana is jealous, like Yahuwah says that he is jealous, um, or zeal. And then the yura is fear or reverence, fearful, reverence of the Yobel. Um, there's a place in scripture where, uh, on a Shemitah year, where Judah didn't, they let their slaves go. And then they decided, oh, you know, maybe we, that wasn't such a good idea. Let's just get them back. And they put them back under subjection. And you who has said, oh, really? Oh, well, here's what I'm going to do. Here's the Right. Release. Amen. Yeah, here's the release of the pestilence and of the famine and of the sword. And, oh, yeah, the king of Babel on you. Right. Because they did not revere his Shemitah. And then his Yobel, they forgot altogether. Not saying anything about Ephraim over here because we don't even, we didn't have the first clue about any of this. Um, yes. 
much. There was a problem for um, Brother Judah because they forgot the Jubilee. This happened about the time of um, Antiochus and the revolt of the Jews. About that time, the Maccabees rose up as priest kings and they just started keeping every seventh year for a continuous seven year count of a Shemitah, which is not the way you count a Shemitah. Shemitahs are counted within the context of a Jubilee year, which is a 50th year, much like our Shabbat is counted within the context of we have a new moon and then we have the four weeks within um, and following that new moon. So you're, you're under the impression that the Jubilee year or the Obel is actually a 50 year procession that goes 50 years, 50 Every years, 50 years. years, not 49 like some yes. uh, interject. Yes, because they lost it. This is what this is what they were in the practice of doing after the. Ah, okay. So, so again, they were they were calculating this. They weren't observing this. Right. You understand by the time you know when Yeshua is on the scene, it's it's an illegitimate priesthood that's in there, right? It's um, it's, right. Those guys are in exile, and it's speculated that John the Baptist, his you know his father was of the priesthood that they dwelt out in the wilderness, um. And maybe Qumran. So it's they just, were they were keeping every seventh year as a Shemitah, but they were forgetting the Jubilee year in their count. So every fifty years, their their Shemitah years were off by a year extra. So okay. in, in after fifty years, and they should have been keeping a Jubilee, they just started again keeping their count one through six, and then their Shemitah was off a year for the next 50 years. And then after that next Jubilee rolled around, then they were two years off. 150 years in, they were three years off. Compounds, of yeah. compounds. You know, and so this, and this is uh, insane that you, you was able to find this, because we were talking, we were just dis discussing, Darla was throwing around the idea that maybe Yeshua, because everybody's talking about Jubilee, Maybe Yeshua was establishing something when he said that. So uh -huh. if if the Ramsell theory is true, then we should be able to find what you found in the Jubilee. Humble pie, man. Humble pie. There it is. Yeah. So Go let's back. be clear for anybody that may watch this in video form. This is the New Testament in Aramaic. So these are the words of Yeshua in the Aramaic and testing Ramsell's theory we find that in the Jubilee is indeed there. So we can safely say, right, because if the encoded text interprets or, or gives you the answer to the, to the surface text, then we can see that indeed Yeshua is, is establishing the, the Jubilee. Um, yes, amen. That's awesome. And, yeah, so and you can measure more, that. Now there's a couple measure. witnesses. Right, exactly. And yes, uh, bro brother Doug uh, has run this, and so has uh, brother Micah, and all three of us are coming up with the same results. So we got three witnesses with this. That's awesome. Also, uh, in um, there's uh, Aleph Aleph uh, semi, uh, Pay, which is I shall gather, that is right next to your access term at a skip of forty eight. It starts at the. Um, Hold on, one Olive. Olive. Some. Okay. I can put that in. We can search. So this would be a soft. And there it is. For people that are looking for rapture, or that that word, a soft, is or nechate, or the or the most. Look at that. That's wow. amazing. And, and he, how about that? A soft bow. Do you see the bow? A soft bow. Yeah, bow is right there in it. Wow. So, <laughs> that's pretty astounding. It's, it's, it's vertical and, and in on itself. Um, that's attached to, oh, wow. Sephir. Sefer, that's where he said he op op Yeshua opens the book. I have it. Look at that. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, you have uh, 
out of Psalmic Pay, and this is, and there was delivered to him the book of Isaiah the prophet, and Yeshua opened the book and found the place where it is written, and there's Asaph, Asaph. Isn't that literally what you do with the code? Found out where it was written, Jubilee? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when we open the book, and there it is, in your bell. That's, that is just amazing. Now we can measure that. We can measure that to where we are now. Right. Just, and Jerome also gave us a witness of, of a Jubilee. Um, I think it was like 229 or something like that. It was, it was a, another 29. So the, the Jubilee's years would be the 29th and then the 79th. So 1979 would have been the last Jubilee year. And this is one that begins in the spring and then ends the following spring. Okay. And this, this is why we have to keep an open mind about this and look at a lot of this stuff subjectively or ob objectively mm -hmm. is because I've been looking for the same thing, which was the Jubilee year. And I had been led down the road of the calculating it and what Sister Darla has done is gone back in scripture and actually looked at the documents, not calculating it. And that's where I made my mistake is going with the calculations instead of what was recorded in scripture. Because all over the scripture, and in many cases of different yeah. things, it'll say in the year of King Darius on, a, da, da, on the fourth year right. of his reign and things like that. So it's given you a lot of data points because these are historical things that can be measured in time so it's not you know arbitrary of, of where where that year is so you can measure from that um i've, I've seen what, what is that guy's name that we talked to uh i think the philippines is where we're going oh joseph dumont jo joseph dumont talked to, was a lo looking at headstones from um hebrews and, and jews that were buried in in the middle east in because on the headstones, it would record when the person died mm -hmm. in conjunction with the destruction of the second temple. So it pinpointing exactly when the destruction of the temple was and a lot of things about that. Um, but, but also there were caveats in that too. Like, like I said, uh, it would have like in the 14th year of the Jubilee or something like that. There would be other caveats in the headstones that was pointing to um, a conclusion, and uh, I, you know, I don't know what what is where is he on the on the jubilee. Well, there's another uh, there's another piece of evidence in here in Jeremiah thirty seven thirty, which uh, he uh, he and others some others believe that this is not only evidence of a shemitah but also a jubilee. But the other study I did said it's a, it's evidence of a shemitah but not a jubilee. Um, so that's what they're going on, but. There is evidence of a jubilee kept in 572 BCE, and this one where um, the Messiah Yahushua um, read in the synagogue was was a, was declaring a jubilee that was 600 years after that 572 BCE. Well, what uh, scripture was that, uh, Sister? In Jeremiah again? Jeremiah 37, 30, verse 30. Thirty-seven, verse thirty. Mm -hmm. I have no verse thirty and roadblock. <laughs> Let me look it up again, real quick. And this scripture here, where you found all this uh, code, is it is out of Luke? Yes. Yes, yeah. it's uh, between. Luke chapter 4, verse 17, and verse 21. Okay. So very specific place. You know, when we've looked at things in a specific place, like Yeshua is my name, <laughs> you know, so uh, I think this is outstanding. Um, of course, I, I don't have access to the, to the Peshitta. I just threw it out there in the chat, and within 15 minutes, uh, Chris found this. Yeah, that's amazing. Smith was on it, and Doug was yeah. on it, 
And then um, that's, I'm sorry, uh, that's Isaiah 3730. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, that makes sense. So Darla, were you saying that, um, um, I haven't been able to concentrate on much of this today. I've had such a migraine. Um, so are you saying when um, the 50 years, okay, like say next year was going to be the 50th year, do you count that as, you don't count that as the first of the next? No, because it's not the first. That year you can plant. Yeah. You can plant it. You can't both plant and not plant. Okay. So, yeah, it's the 50th year. It's following the seventh Shabbat. So just all by itself, it's its own year, and then you count one after that. Right. It's a different kind of year, right, than the other. Sort of like the. Uh, the new moon. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes. Was, yeah. <laughs> and that's how the, that's how this master clockwork was. It's a it's a it's another part of the same clock. You see. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's the, the pattern of sevens. He, he's he's loaded things with sevens everywhere. So we see that in his in his keep his keeping time right with the shemitas. The people were thinking about a continuous seven-day cycle to their yeah. every Saturday Sabbath. They'll, they'll have trouble seeing that a 50th year is outside of their 1 to 49 and then 1 to 49 again. But it's going to throw off their Shemitah every year that it comes up. My table shows a little more than yours, Chris. Yeah, I don't have... Uh... Like I have, I have it exactly at 24. You're looking at a smaller block. Right. More, uh, just wanted to search for this. Literally have just verses uh, 17 to 21 in there, Chris. Isolated, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. In the Ruach. In the Ruach. Yeah, you have in the Ruach right here. He was speaking in the Ruach, right? Spirit. That's so significant. Come on. Look at that. Right, right. Because you have these two. Um, Iraq. Iraq and uh, Ira. You have it twice he, yeah. once there. And again, both of them st sitting on each other right there. And one of them is a part of uh, proclaiming the acceptable year. And you have in the Ruach right there. Yeah. Uh, and so can you see it fitting together like a, like a, I mean, it's got, it has got divine hand written all over it. And we do, this is, I mean, I'm speechless basically. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's so much to take in into your mind. Oh, it, it's confirming because, um, we were suspecting this all, all, all along. I mean, that's exactly what Yeshua came to do, free, free the captives. He was a kinsman redeemer type. Um, right, and he said he fulfilled the word. He fulfilled yes, the word. he fulfills the word. He's, he was fulfilling the Jubilee. <laughs> and if you're not used to, you know, getting a direct answer, you know, from him listening to you, and then stuff like this happens, you know, it's kind of scary. Right. Let me just read what these verses say in the plain text, because we always talk about this in the codes. It's like, what is the plain text saying? And then this is what's encoded un underneath it. Um, and the scroll of the Nabi, the prophet, Yashiyahu, was handed to him. And having unrolled the scroll, he found the place where it was written, The Ruach of Yahuwah is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring the good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim release to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, in the Ruach. to send away crushed ones with a release to proclaim the acceptable year of Yahuwah. And having rolled up the scroll, he gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the congregation were fixed upon him. And he began to say to them, today this scripture has been filled in your hearing. We've done a couple of things with this fine, Chris. One is we've established um, more credence to Bromsel's theory. Yes. The other is we yes. we pretty much nailed the the, uh, the jubilee. Yes. 
And this is what it says in Leviticus 25. And you shall count seven Shabbatot, or that Sabbath, of years for yourself, seven times seven years. And the time of seven Shabbatot of years shall be to you 49 years. You shall then sound a ram's horn to pass through on the 10th day of the seventh month on Yom HaKippurim or Yom Kippur. Cause a ram's horn to pass through all your land. And you shall kadosh or sanctify the 50th year and proclaim release throughout all the land to all its inhabitants. It is a yobel for you. And each of you shall return to his possession and each of you return to his clan. The 50th year is a yobel to you. Do not sow nor reap what grows of its own nor gather from its unpruned vine. It is a yobel. It is a kodesh to you. Eat from the field its crops. In the year of this yobel, let each one of you return to his possession. Amen. Darla, does that mean then you do not plant on Yobel, correct? Right, and you also don't uh, plant on the Shemitah year, so the year just before that, which will be 2028, and also 2021, will be Shemitah years. We should be looking for an increase so that we can save up and store food. Isn't he harvesting us? What's the question? He's harvest, harvesting us before the next Jubilee, right? Um, I would say that um, the, the Jubilee talks about uh, we need to uh, get back to our land and reclaim it. I would say he will be doing that, but um, we might need to be getting through the Shemitah. So we should be preparing to store food away. Um, really, 2020, which is the next year before the, the um, Shemitah, that's a, you're going to be a year of, of storing food away, 2020. Like, this is imminent. And then also there will be another shoot now. 2027 will be the year to store away food. So this is a warning to us. Yes. So does that mean that 2028 will be a Shemitah? Yes. And, how and it will be the year before the Jubilee. Yes. I'm thinking okay. about all the crops that were, that have been destroyed and they haven't been able to plant uh, in in the mainland. You know that that's that's a big deal because it's going to cause an economic or um, uh, you know with goods and services, food, beef, you know those that are in ethanol, all of that is going to be affected. You know affected and. <laughs> This is what happened to the Israelites when they weren't keeping the, everything fell apart. Right. Curses come on them. Because he made them keep the Shemitah. This is why Judah went into exile it, for right? seven years. Yeah. Yeah. Your guys' land rested at least seven years, right? Or more. It's been about 15 years. Yeah, but we That's awesome. Schedule, right? Exactly. So, we got to get in lockstep with the timing. Right. Seems like things are working out. It is. It's all, all falling into place. Oh, the weird thing is, is I, I studied this a few years ago, but it just wasn't time for you who would to, to, or I wasn't ready something to yeah. get this information. He didn't give it to us all at one time. He's, yeah. he's given us, he's, he's led us up to a point, right? Um, learning more and more each time. That's why we so many about rehearsals that. that we got to go through, right? Yeah. All the rehearsals we have to go yeah. through. So many. Which is the feast. My theory is if he was to give it all to us at once, our heads would explode. Yeah, we would <laughs> That's be able exactly to, where, yeah. We'd be like, uh, what is this? We wouldn't know Indiana, the story of what's going on. I was thinking about Indiana Jones and the, the skull or whatever it was where the – where the chick hooked herself up to the machine because she wanted to know it all and she blew up. Yeah. yeah, that's what would happen if he hit us with it all at once. Good, good analogy. <laughs> this Love is you. so amazing. This is so, really. I don't. I, I think I lost service, but just to verify, Darla, were you saying that um, we would need to prepare now for the for the food and all that? Well, technically, we should be preparing from from all of uh, 
2020, yeah? Um, preparing for to last through the Shemitah. And he promised two years of food because they couldn't plant in the, in the Shemitah year. So they had to have food to carry them through the next year as well while their food was growing. And this is based on, on an agricultural um, culture too. We're, we're primarily a culture that's buying. Somebody's got a bag. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. So, um, we still have an issue. Thanks, guys. You ever suppose in the mics? Yeah. So, unless you're planting and harvesting, you know, you know this is really, and that's the, because, and this goes back to coinage. When, when the the lords, right, and now the presidents and the leaders of all our, all our countries. Agriculture was a basis of uh, trade, right? Whether you were a, you could be a blacksmith, you trade out services for food, all this kind of trade going on. But then came coinage, right? So that you could be taxed. <laughs> and it, it breaks up this system. It, it completely breaks up the system and gets off of the cycle that you has established. And now you pay into the king, right? You know, it's not yours. You really pay into the king. And that is exactly what we see in our culture is many people dependent on the government. E EBD cards and wh whatever they are, the welfare cards and stuff. And all the people that are in huge cities that if, if that goes away, you know, the grocery shelves will be bare within three days. And then you got a problem. You got a really big problem with a population that starves. Yeah, they won't know what to do the ones they're, you know, need to depend on the government. Um, yeah, you don't know how to grow things anymore. I had a friend the other day that um, he, he had a, he works at Metal Foundry and he trains people and all that. And he had a 26 year old in there saying, you know, he it's it's more worth it for him to get several hundred dollars in food stamps and not pay taxes and this and that than it is, you know, to yeah. only make 10, 11 bucks an hour and then pay taxes and all that. Yeah. You know, now if it's, if it's a family and you got mom and dad both working and you got little kids, those little kids have got to go to daycare or something. And that costs money per child. Right. Now sometimes there's subsidies with those programs with uh, welfare and the government, I don't know if they still do, but they would, you know, give a, a, a stipend to go toward that expense. Um, mostly like single mothers with several kids. Yeah. So should we look at Doug's table? Sure. Doug, you got a table too? Sorry, I put you on the spot. Mike is throwing you there. You, you're, you're muted. He's throwing you under the bus. <laughs> I would like to add, I heard a word this morning that while so many people are preparing to exit, to leave, to be raptured, um, Yahuwah wants us to be preparing to endure. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. And I thought that was very timely to this. Our ministry calling is not just to escape. Yeah, that's right. He said, oh. he said, blessed are the that endure to the end. Amen. 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 Okay. Let me show what, uh, what I've got. Just so you know, it's on record. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, I've, I've been doing some, some more searching, but here's, here's basically uh, it. I've got, um, I shall gather, and that's the olive, olive uh, here. And then uh, this is another one in the name of right here. And re reverse is one ruling. And that, that shows up uh, several times. I was ju just investigating that as well. So. Uh, this is about all I've got right now. Um, 
I was going to uh, look for some other things uh, uh, like to renew and, 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 and that I'd found in, in other tables that I was looking at in, uh, in Revelations, but um, haven't had a chance yet. But, uh, One ruling, that's pretty cool. The, the uh, actually, I have bet with your bell. Um, the bet, the bet can actually be translated mm. with, with your bell with with jubilee with joy is probably what it would say <laughs> with gel with joy or playing the joy mm -hmm. um that's that's a really good table for for shem <laughs> to gather for shem yeah it's a good start i i've got a little <clears throat> A little extra. I made the uh, made the uh, the search a little bit bigger. I went from uh, I think sixteen to uh, uh, to uh, twenty two or something like that. Let me see. Okay. Well, it says seventeen to nineteen there, but I know that it's uh, it it actually goes a little bit more. Uh, that's why we see it. Uh, let's see, we see it there at four sixteen to um, four twenty one, um, just to give it a little little bit of a fudge factor. But uh, there's there's a tremendous potential in this, and I'm going to continue. Yeah, like I said, it is, it's, it's very huge for Ramsell theory because um, it is, a, a, I mean, a huge, a huge piece of evidence that, that points to, to that theory being true. So I don't know what I did wrong and I thought I had the same one, but mine's like taller or something. Mm-hmm. Chris had his is is just blocked. Is all it is. But up here is where I found the word uh, the Darla posted that uh, Alice and what the old bet. So yeah, it's all there. Very cool. It's fascinating that this subject pretty much came up less than a week ago. And here we are, Yahuwah has led us to so much through a series of questions and group interactions and amazing people who have Yahuwah's hand on them to search the codes. Mm -hmm. And here we are. And it all mm -hmm. confirms everything else that everything has been talking about. Yeah, I mean, you can't put it any other way. Oh, you guys, I want to tell you that, um, so somebody was asking about what year it was, actually, and um, the Jews have said that they've lost a couple hundred dollars, a couple hundred, hundred years, years in their, in their figuring, but um, Jerome said it was 279 was, was a jubilee, and it was the 86th jubilee, so when I counted out by hundreds, that's every two jubilees, right? Um, this next coming jubilee will be the 121st jubilee. And you know what? Yahuwah says, I will not strive with man, but 120 years, right? And many people interpret that yes. as being 120 jubilees. That's profound. So yeah. if we make it all the way up to just before the 121st jubilee, then that'll be the fullness of it. Yeah. That's amazing. Fullness of the Gentiles. Oh, it's kind of scary thinking about what's right around the corner. Mm. So when you talk about teaching us and us all sharing how to prepare and everything, we could really ramp that up a bit, couldn't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. To, to be self-sustaining as a as a community, as a family, those kinds of things are very important. Um, 
you know, New Orleans just flooded again. I don't know the, if they maybe handled the situation differently this time. Um, but it, a, a situation like that could be very serious really quickly, especially a populated area like that, heavily populated. It's kind of funny too, because the other day, um, I was just thinking that we I needed to start storing stuff, so yeah. <laughs> I went I went and spent up my credit card a little bit and bought a bunch of silver don't go, solutions. Don't go crazy. Here's the thing: be wise in in what you do. You know, you don't need five tons of rice and stuff like that, right? So, you know, be really wise on what and what you get and what you know um, would probably be a problem if you, if you didn't have any. You know, things that's something to barter with, things that you may not even use, like alcohol. Um, I, I follow a channel on YouTube that, that, you know, the guy does that. He goes and buys, like, alcohol to store up cigarettes and stuff like that to trade people. I'm not saying do that, but he's been led to do stuff like that. Um, and spread out exactly what he's preparing for, which is people going without things. And it does say in the Bible that there, you know, there be people in the streets crying. There's, there's no wine. Crazy. So again, we got 121st jubilee in 10 years, and 121 times 50 brings us to 6,050. Mm. That's year 6,050. So that means 6,040 is this year. Yeah, and I don't know if you guys believe that way too, but I mean, I'm, I'm sure we talked about it before, you know, like six days and then a day of rest. Yeah. You know, that's, you, you, that's the tabernacle. For a thousand years, we're going to be tabernacle. What is tabernacle? Yeah. What, do you, what happens when it's the rehearsal? So when you're in uh, Sukkot, what are we doing? For seven days, we are cooking out. We're relaxed. It's, 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 it's relaxing. It's fellowship. It's rest. Right, there's no working going on. A lot of eating, a lot of fellowship, a lot of rest, taking naps and things like that in the middle of the day. Um, it's that's what we do for a thousand years with Yeshua. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. So uh, you know, again, I didn't really read. I didn't really find anything other than I just studied myself through somebody else's work. So. Um, Think that. I've heard people propose, it, you know, I've seen teachings where people have proposed that that's what you sure will say, but how you test that? Well, just like what you just saw, um, it's very clear in the Aramaic, very small area in, I mean, a specific area. We're not looking through the whole Bible for this answer, just in the words, what you sure said. Wow. Pretty sure some people will be upset with that. I, that may be so, but how can you argue with it? It's, it is not by the manipulation or the hand of, of anybody here that put the, that word there in the Jubilee with all the other anomalies there, right? Didn't happen. It's there. And we wasn't sure if, it, if anything would be there until we went and looked, right? So everyone here is on Shabbat? Yeah, we're on Shabbat here right now. And the yes. truth was revealed to us to this day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Cool? Yeah. Mm. yeah. We're going to be really, really busy gotta, um, next, in, in the next week or so, guys. So. Am I, was I talking over somebody? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Thanks for uh, for uh, helping me with this, uh, Brother Doug and Brother Micah, and uh, thanks, Sister Darla, for being diligent. And uh, you want to say that? And and, and Chris for um, looking that up, and not only that, but you also uh, pre looked some stuff up for me which uh, was Ezekiel 40, verse 1. Yeah. In, in the last uh, verse of 39, right before it, you found uh, the Yobel there and also keeping um, the Yobel. 
Which made yeah. me have to go redo the study because I was like, wait, why did I ask him to look up Ezekiel 40? Yeah. Poured out my spirit upon the house to see who I am. The five and twentieth year of our captivity, in the beginning of the year, and the tenth day of the month, and the fourteenth year after the city was smitten, and the self same day in the hand of you who was upon me. Okay, yeah, <clears throat> I remember doing that. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to look at the whole study to kind of follow through the train that um, that was five seventy two B C E, and that is a big clue of when the um, the jubilee year was. They were okay. in their captivity by 25 years. It's also tied to um, Ezekiel chapter one, um, where he, t he also makes a, a date time stamp for people. So not only do we have a timeline, but you know, he also revealed to us about the Jubilee and him fulfilling. Yes. Yeah, it was, it was profound when I read it and in the context of all the uh, scriptural and historical evidence, it was profound when I read it because I just felt in my spirit that it was him telling him, here's your jubilee that you lost. I just gave it back to you. And he comes as a kinsman redeemer in, in Dodge form, right? So, yeah. Darla, what was the, I didn't understand when you said um, the, 100th and 21st Jubilee would be 2029. And then you mentioned 6,050. What was that about? Okay, so 121 Jubilees. And this is going from Jerome saying that year 279 was the 86th Jubilee. So I just kept adding 100 to 279 and adding two Jubilees to, is, is, to, is 100 years, right? So that, that brings us up to 121 Jubilees for our next Jubilee, which will be 2029. 121 times 50 years is 6,040 years, or 6,050. We're on 6,040 right now. Okay, thank you. We're, that's still a calculation too. We're not, we haven't nailed this thing down definitively, right? Well, I studied it for about three days, okay. and uh, I'm, I, I feel pretty convinced, right. and there was a lot of corroborating evidence that when somebody sits down and studies through it, I think they'll come to the same conclusion. I would love it for you guys to do the study if you feel led and, and so see what you So could the extra jubilee, what, I mean, it's, it seems like um, 6,000 is, is a cutoff, but it well, gives I, another jubilee. And you know what? If Jerome is off by one count, then he's off by right. one count. So it could be plus or minus 3%, right? Yeah, I didn't get a chance to confirm his notes with him. Yeah. But that it's, was, in the, it's, in the, it's in the season, without a doubt. That's the most important thing about it. Yeah. It's not like knowing, knowing when the Jubilees and what we got to do. Can we plant? Can we not plant? The most important thing is we're in the season of his return. <laughs> we, we know that he was proclaiming a Jubilee. Yeah. That, that's important, and that, that has a very prophetic significance to them and our time. So we, we, we know the Jubilee is nailed down in there. Yeah, and we can trust his word compared to, you know, others. I think we just do our best. If, if it can be restored with what he's given us, that we restore it. And if we can't, we get as close as we can and just do our best. Amazing. Mm. I'm definitely gonna have to look for some farmland or something because living in a city is not gonna cut it for me. We hear you. Yeah. Well, the city I live in is 821 population. That's not bad. <laughs> Jonathan. Yes. I am very thankful that you were chosen to bring us all together um, sister, so that this could happen. All glory to the, to the Father. Uh, it's, uh, it's been yeah, an honor but, to be of his, his vessel to. Uh, but you you followed what he were supposed to do. Hallelujah. Yes. Well, um, thank you. Amen. Amen. 
The, and that's I, why I, we have to keep on. Amen. amen. I don't say that kind of stuff very often. And when I say it, I really, really mean it. I you didn't have you to were. listen. Yeah. But uh, this is but much greater than me, guys. This is this is the, the Holy Spirit is manifest in, in 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 like all across the board from the, the, the greatest of us to the least of us. Right. So um, I, I see the uh, amazing possibilities in, in our d near future with the um, revelation that will, that will come out because he told us that all things will be revealed. There's nothing hidden that won't be revealed. Right. So, that is also in our category. So we're dealing with, with a lot of things that are hidden. And he tells us plainly that there's nothing that will not be revealed, that he's going to reveal. This is to reconcile us back to him. He is, um, he's enabled an amazing way to get us in tune with him in the end time in the, as a remnant. This, this is a really good opportunity for all his children to bring him glory. Yeah. And, and that's the not, not just all code, about yeah. not just the code searches, not just brother Jonathan and I, that's more right. people have been able to come in and you've been able to bring our heavenly father glory and glorify him. Amen. And that that's, what's important. I believe. I agree. He's Amen. definitely giving us some warning time here to prepare. Yeah, I was going to say that, you know, if we don't heed this warning in the time that he's given us, you know, then we'd be pretty uh, ignorant if we didn't do nothing. Might be. I mean, I, I know he protects us despite of our ways, but, you know. I was going to ask, so the thousand year, um, he has a resurrection for his people and he rests with them yeah yeah it's a it's tabernacle and peter so thought he, when he saw the kingdom on the Mount of transfiguration he thought it was now 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 was the time and he didn't understand the the fullness of the gentiles obviously so now is the time that we're going to be tabernacling now is the time to set up boots it's amazing because that's what we're about to do. We're about to go into booths uh, here in, in just a few days. Or, oh, you mean at our at our property? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, then the feast of booths comes up in a, right. about a month. Right. We'll already yeah. be ready ready to go for feast of booths when it gets here. Yeah. Jonathan. Yeah. You you and Darla will be walking point for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna be um, trying to document that as much as possible with the GoPro and uh, with our our uh, Canon and upload to the other channel. Um, it's not really so, fun. Yeah, uh, Feast of Boost is at the end of um, August. No, no, it'll be it'll be more September, right? Yeah, you'll you'll be looking for it about September fifteenth. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was my favorite time of the year. Me and Darla got married on the first first day of Boots. Well, maybe I'll uh, uh, save up enough money. I'll come rain on your parade at that time. We always have uh, like to have guests. Mm -hmm. We hosted um, some people that came out. Um, we were still in Utah. I remember you videoed it, right? Yeah. I remember. I tried that. to. I was yeah. trying to live stream a lot of it, but uh, it was really chalky. I remember that. I saw some of that, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll have, I think we'll have a better connection this time. Yeah, it looks like we, we may be able to get our uh, internet over there fairly quickly. Um, it might be some downtime, a week or two. Depends on the logistics of it. I may have to put a pole in that they can run to from the road. Um, and if that's the case, uh, <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take me to do because we're, it's, it, you know, we're volcano rock here. So it's not like I can just drill a hole. <laughs> it's, it's lava. So it takes some equipment like a mini excavator with a hammer. You know, they had the, 
and it busts the rock up and then they dig out the hole and it, yeah, it's a whole process. <laughs> I have to do the same thing for a, a grounding rod for our system. It's an eight foot metal rod that has to go down in the ground to ground your house. Your house has it. Um, so, so you don't have very uh, much topsoil. We've got some, yeah, but it's after a while it gets to it gets to lava rock. I won't be able to drive an eight foot rod in the ground without hitting lava somewhere. But we do have topsoil. We do have you know some um, years of decay and um, you know plants growing, dying, growing, dying. That kind of thing creates soil. And we'll, when we got there, the, the the grasses on it was almost 12 feet, um, cane grasses and things like that. So uh, it's had a many years of rest and, and stuff falling and decaying on there. It's got black soil. It's, it's black gold. I think it's going to grow things well there. Um, it already is. We were just looking at some macadamians uh, that are on the tree right now. Um, Darla took some pictures. Did you share the picture of macadamia? Uh, not yet, but I will. It's got, the trees have got macadamias on it. Um, questions, uh, a yeah. couple of questions pertaining to all of that. Um, do you have a picket pounder, right? A what? A picket pounder. Um, yeah, we can't use those kind of things here. That's, uh, that's what I was saying. You can only get down so far and then you may hit, you may hit lava rock very quickly. I don't know. Well, yeah, I live in granite and limestone and caliche. I'm familiar. Can you water it down to soften it? I don't know if it's, it, does it work like a limestone where if you wet it, it makes it easier and more malleable or is it hard, hard? No, it's hard, hard. This is basalt lava. Yeah. Okay. I knew it was porous, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. Some of it's porous and some of it is, is pretty solid. Um, there's different forms of lava depending on the temperature it was at when it came out. Um, Ten four. Some that is very very light and floats on the air. This is called tephra, and then you can get to like um, cinder, which is a light form of of lava rock, which you, some, some use in like aquaponics and stuff. That would or or your grill. They put it in grills for because right of, right. Um, and then there's more. Looks like granite to me that it has no pores. It's very heavy. It's dense. Um, there's a high percentage of um, opaline in the lava around here. Okay. Yeah, so there's, um, there's minerals. Then there. My house was not grounded when I bought it. So I, I had to handle that situation. And I did, no problem. My gas line got grounded. My water line got grounded. My panel got grounded. Uh, but what, what I, I thought I was being a jerk to my son because I was annoyed with him at the time. Um, I sent him out to drive the ground rod. And... Um, he said a quick prayer and he got that ground rod to go right in. I mean, he must have found the only spot between all the rocks in the yard and it just dropped down. So there's my suggestion to you, Jonathan, you know, say a quick prayer. You have, let me just find the right spot and, and drop it in. Awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Very possible. Um, I think our solar guys are going to help us out with it. Uh, they, they're Hawaiian, so they're more experienced at that kind of stuff. They've been here doing it. Uh, they're probably also a lot meatier than you are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. I uh, uploaded the, uh, the the file for Code Finder and the table that we were just looking at. I, I uploaded to upload your table section on discord so if anybody else wants to look at it they can look at it or move around with it <laughs> thanks chris yep i see you there. welcome so did you want to get this uploaded onto youtube yeah i'll try to get this up uploaded i think it's, people need to see it yeah i do too i, I believe so too it's going to be a blessing all right i'm going to stop the recording right here there.